interesting thing about this is that the time that it's taken to develop this thing and the uh, concept itself, the idea behind what they've made and represents. It was funny, I was driving around, I look over and I see Bob go by and he's standing there with his like motor around, standing on this thing with a motor and you know, if it was a hundred years this is a Martian from outer space on some spacecraft, you know, what? but in the 90s we're like, oh yeah, motorized surfboard, oh yeah, right, okay. It's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's the Superman of surfing, Bob Montgomery, with an innovative new way to hang ten. I am the igniter. It's the mother of all surfboards, power skis. I enjoy uh, putting smiles on people's faces and uh, staying wet. Coming up, the extremist Laird Hamilton takes the power ski for a little road. No helmet, no life vest. <laughs> I don't know, it's a uh, thing, I guess. <laughs> you know, distraction, I don't want any distractions. Actually, I needed knee pads, I think would have been a better call than, than the, the life vest. I figure if life vest, you know, even if you're, if you're knocked out anyway, you know, if you're floating or not. A motorized surfboard? Sounds more like a dream. But for surfer turned inventor Bob Montgomery, he is power ski. Every surfer, uh, I think from the time I was a kid, uh, growing up throughout the generations, has dreamed about a, a motor. Uh, we just simply did something about it and built it. You build it, they will come. And after years of perfecting craft, Bob hopes the power ski will have mass appeal. But before the power ski can get that final seal of approval, it will have to survive the ultimate test with the ultimate Laird Hamilton. Our first stop, Lake Elsinore. Lake Elsinore, the only thing we had to worry about was uh, other people on waves and boats. Power ski performed to perfection, but the real challenge lies ahead. Undoubtedly, I always vote for the uh, You know, it's a bigger playground. The waves just add so much more to any kind of water sport. It's just another dimension. It, it makes it a lot more interesting. It becomes an obstacle with come from the back on, run in front of, and just kind of, it makes it, it, makes it uh, a lot more interesting, obviously, and, and, and trickier at the same time. Although these board types, the real deal will hit the marketplace later this year. And as Bob explains, the consumer can expect them to be bigger and better. A former Husqvarna design team designed a pancake engine for the power suit, like no other planet. It's five and a half inches in height and about five inches in width. So the whole product is going to uh, uh, shrink in all dimensions. The whole I think, is to go uh, flat like a, a surfboard. Oh, I think that um, there'll be an application for this. I mean, that you'll be able to use use it in. Some it's just like anything, you know. As you get better at it, 
Uh, you'll be able I think that there'll be an application for, you know, being able to take travel to a location and ride waves and, and uh, waves you'll be able to ride. Obviously, if you have a motor, you can always run away, so be riding the way you'll be running away, so. <laughs> the craft and patented as a motorized water ski. And we want the lakes and the rivers and the flat water riding. Uh, the outdoor jumping ways is extreme. Uh, we don't recommend it. Everyone doesn't have an ocean or an outer reef, but uh, this is in the, uh, the action to every lake and river. But if you're planning on trading for the power ski, Bob says wait. Opinion. The one who dies with the most toys, I guess, or whatever. 